Hey, I'm Dominic Reisig from the Entomology and Plant Pathology Department. Here outside in uh, almost 90 degree heat, you can see the sweat coming off me and I'm gonna talk about scouting stink bugs in corn. Now look, it is hot out here. My arms are itching. So most growers are gonna to wanna to farm this out to a professional. We have lots of really good independent crop consultants that can do this for you. But the most critical times to scout stink bugs mid-season is right as this primary ear is beginning to form and, and push out even before you can see it poking out. Now those silks, when they're poking out, have to be ready to receive the pollen. So you really want to be scouting before that corn is tasseling. So what we've done here is we've broken apart a corn plant to show you where that primary and secondary ear is. Now right here, this is what this average corn plant looks like. You can see from the outside, I can't see any ear poking out. So what we had to do to find that primary ear was actually strip away the leaves here. And it was really handy that we had a pocket knife to do that. Now, what you're gonna look for is you're gonna look for the largest ear sheath you can find as far up in the plant as you can find it. And you can see, you know, it's not right up at the top of the plant. It's maybe not even midway. It doesn't even come up to my waist. But when we found this here, we knew that this largest ear sheath here was gonna be the primary ear, and we knew that this one was gonna be the secondary ear. And in fact, if I pull this ear sheath off and break it open, I will probably find a corn ear that's developing inside of it. So this is what I'm trying to protect for from stink bugs. I want to prevent them from reaching this primary ear and causing the deformations here. Now the scouting method that we've developed saves you about 60% of the time if you don't scout the whole plant. So at this stage before the corn has tasseled, what we recommend growers do is to find out where that primary ear is and we recommend that they scout the stalk at one leaf above and one leaf below the primary ear. So we want them to scout this stalk region here the stalk region that's up here, and then even that below that ear leaf here. So we're gonna be looking in this zone right here. So that's all that part of the plant that you have to scout to use our thresholds. Now, if you wanna find stink bugs, this is the way to do it. Start on the edge row. But if you want a representative of how many stink bugs are in the field, you're gonna to have to do some walking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the edge here. I like to start on the edge just to see if I even have stink bugs. If I have them, I for sure know I need to go in the middle of the field. If I've searched the edges real hard and I don't find stink bugs on the edge, very unlikely I'm gonna find them in the middle. So let's walk down here focusing in on that primary ear zone. One stalk above that, leaf above that primary ear, one stalk below the leaf of that primary ear and see if we can find some stink bugs. Now we've found a stink bug using sampling. What I want you to notice is how it's really tucked up in that ear. It's right up kind of where that collar meets the stalk. And that's where you're gonna find most of the stink bugs at this time. They're not gonna be out on the leaf or exposed. They're gonna be tucked up up in there and, and feeding on where that primary ear is forming. So you really have to tune your eyes to find the stink bugs when they're there. But I would count this as one stink bug and then take this number and average it across the number of plants that I've sampled to use the threshold. If you want to sample the whole plant, you can do that, but you need to follow different thresholds than if we're sampling only, only part of that plant. Mm -hmm.